no matter all seeing nerds, right, everybody out, you know, all my fans and all well, all my best mates as well out there. Um, as you can see, we have an unveiling of the camo again. This camo will reveal new things I've been up to. Um, this is one of two videos that will be linked together, so I've got a bit of upgrades to do. But I got fed up yesterday, weather was bloody lousy and I didn't know what to do, so I came in the garage, sat down, put the kettle on, made a cup of tea. And I thought, well, all that stuff Turok sent me, I might as well do something with it because there's literally two cars in there. The other one's for Terry to build. So, um, and then if you're watching Turok, um, your PayPal will be full a week today, which is Wednesday, so I get paid again. But would have paid you earlier, buddy, but no, I'm not going into it. We've all got the same problem. Um, what you're going to see now is just an example because the wheels are on it are only temporary till I can get some more. Um, still need steering, uh, tie rod ends, I still need the, the servo tie rod end. I've got the servo saver here. I've got a big batch of stuff ages ago and it's there so that'll, that'll come in handy. Um, and then I'm going to need some help with this one. And also I've got two lots of shells and I don't know which one to go for because the, the one I've done, the colours and that looks quite bizarre and you know me, I'm always up to something mad. So, And also it reveals a secret but we'll do that now. So let's just pull that off there. There you go, look at that. Yep, this is my this is my Rustler. Um, first one I've ever had. I've had a bandit as you all know but I sold it on before I got a chance to actually um, that's a bit dark, let me do that. No, that's still a bit dark, let's do that then. There you go. Um, I've put the green slash wheels on for now, they're not staying on. I want to get myself some trenches or something for it, but I've been messing around with it and I thought, well, I'm on Instagram now. If you want to check me out, I'll try and get my link put in as soon as my laptop's back. As you can see, I've got a camber fault here. I need to get some I need to get some tie rods as well for adjusters for them so that's the next job I can do because these wheels are like that. They look quite funky actually but you know um, when you pit them down they just literally just want to say I've got no Hello I got no steering uh, right then um, I put the Magnum gearbox on the back that I had because I'm gonna need help here because Literally, I'll show you what I've done. This is the one of the bodies that Shrock gave me, which I like, which is going to be broken down and resprayed up because it's near not perfect. Um, as you can see, I've got the, the blue on the alloy. I've put the alloy on the front and I put the alloy on the back. This is slightly higher, this so the, the shell does seem a bit high. I've got the RPM back bit, or it might be off a grave digger, I don't know. Um, I put the grave digger bumper on the front so just to make it give it a bit of that copiandra, you know what I mean? And also, I actually have got, as you can tell, I have stainless steel screws in. And the company I used to get these, and they only cost me £10.49, that's right, £10.79 for over 110 pieces. See? So, this is the company I used, and I'd like you to go and check them out they do every car that you can buy they're not they're not crap they're not the quality of the fasteners oh yeah. look at that well built they're not crap he is a fastener um specialist anyway so you know um i use them got them put this on i've had to buy no parts whatsoever with this um as you can see he's got the the blue RPM on, but I'm looking somebody who's selling or want to swap something. I'm after an XL5 brushed electronic speed controller, um, with or without the motor. Once as it works, I can always purchase the motor myself. I've decided to keep this brushed. I just don't think that, even though I'm a big brushless fan, I, I prefer lipo and brushed. Even though it would burn the engine out of the motor out, but I think you get more of a kick. It's a bit like two stroke and four stroke all over again, but this is literally it's got a servo in there, just needs me to rig it all up. 
I've got also I've got an unboxing. But I want to know what you think. This one. This one. Which I think looks quite smart when you you put it on the side there. See? I'm trying to get you in shot all the time. There you go. And then if I take that one and put that one on there, it lets the green stand out. So I'm a bit a bit lost for choice here at the moment. I don't know why. I don't know what to do. Um, just say underneath what you think. I know it's not brushless, but you know the idea is there, isn't it? So um, I keep coming back to this one, which I think is much better. So I'm going to stick with that and put a the one, the one off this. I'll take it off, repair it. It's a bit broke. And I'll carbon it and put that on there. So you've got some amazing little blue iron dyed screws in there, and I think they'll look nice in there. I'm gonna, <coughs> I might spray it up, but I'll leave it for now because it's getting near to my hospital, and I don't want to take too much on just in case. Um, but I've done that. Uh, what are we going down there, there for stock? Right, literally today. But yes again, I rang him up and Warren said, yeah, we'll do it for But this time I've gone for something bizarre. I've gone for these um, shock socks, which are, <laughs> they look more like fucking one of them dancers type of stuff. Can you see? Flames, purple flames. I was going to put them on this, but I've decided to put them on to Slash. So when you look at the next video, these will be on Slash. They're not the easiest to fit, I must admit. And while I fit them to make them go over the spring properly, so I get a screwdriver, I stick that on there, pull it, see how it stretches, and then I feed the spring through and pull that out, and then just tuck it in at the top and the bottom. That's how it's, you know, the best way of getting them to work. But I've got to find which ones look the best. They always seem to give me two spares, which is quite nice of him. Like, you know, some of the cutoffs are. See that better. Um, I'd say, yeah, you can even have them bugged up at the front, but you know, down on there, and they were they didn't cost me anything. But to anybody else, they were. Wait a minute, what's he putting here? Did they put a message in here? Yes, I know that, Roy. I'm not stupid. Um, so that's for the Rockstar Slash. They should put them on these, really, but I'll get another colour for these. But just to quickly show you, this is the Rustler. I've got to get some tie rod ends to adjust it. I think I've got some hanging around. I'm going to have a little look now. But what I'm saying is, not being cheeky, if anybody's got an XL5 with or without the motor, possibly both we can come to some kind of agreement so I want this brushed on a lipo battery um, and then I get some bashing videos done so I've still got to get the, the radio box put the receiver in electro speed control of thing which I'll make myself battery holders so I've got to find all them but it looks the part doesn't it and hopefully get some nice videos done I wanted to put these four wheels on you know make it like a road car but I've put the other two on to our Murdoch slash, so Murdoch should be okay. Um, I know it's a bit high, but unfortunately, the back post is quite high on this, so there's nothing I can do. I can warm it up, push it down, but I think it gives it that that little bit of a look, even if I you know lifted it a little. But there's always Andy, there's always ideas that can come up. Um, yeah, so I'm on Instagram now, which you'll find me quite easy. I decided to keep it at least 69 because I've always been that name and there's no need to change anything now so I don't see why I should use an RC nerd, RC nerd son. I just want to keep who I am really so. Um, so there you go. That's it. Hope you like it. See you again. Take care. Ta-da.